Hello everyone, it is the 12th day of 12 days of Christmas and I just wanna first off say thank you so much for following along with me. I wasn't sure like how it would turn out or you know, how many people were gonna be interested in it. So I'm just so excited and I am so happy that you guys have joined me this month to do all these. Now, this doesn't mean I'm done for December. I have so many projects still uh, that I just have not had a chance to do. And this last one, I just wanted to kind of make it easy because I don't know, we're kind of all in that like frenzy where it's last minute. So I just thought this would be a really sweet little like last minute stocking stuffer for those who are just too, don't have enough time to craft right now. So it's just a cute little like three by three album. And so simple to make, lots of fun. Um, you just open it and you can add whatever goodies you want. I have this little cute treat box that I made so you can see it fits a pretty nice size treat in there if you wanna add that. And then you just open it and really simple, just a pocket here and then I just added a frame so if you have like a picture or something you wanna add, you know, you're giving it to your family, that's sweet too. And I had tied it inside because I liked the way it was hanging. So, but obviously when it folds, if you can see, it's a little bit of an inter interference. So that's why I just kind of flip it out um, in the beginning. And I don't think, I, this kind of bothers me, but I should have just cut that a little smaller. So really fun, sweet album, and I can't wait to share. So many of you experienced crafters probably, you know, know how to do this, but it's fun for, especially for the newbies. So, okay, let's start by grabbing a scoreboard. And grab a three by 12 paper. If you wanna make this taller, that's do it four by 12, um, five by 12, you know, just to make it higher uh, because all these measurements will really be the same in the end. It's just, you have to raise your height up. So a little tip for those who, um, you know, are still newbies. So, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it this way because this part, okay, obviously this is so much easier with double-sided paper because uh, for the people who have single-sided paper, I did this for you so that, you know, I'm gonna cut out these measurements for you. But if you have double-sided paper, you don't have to do all that. Now, um, I want you to know that I'm gonna go from, this is gonna be, I'm going this way, so it's gonna be your cover, so that's how I'm scoring it. So that's why I flipped it this way, because I just want you to be able to see where your front cover is gonna be. So we're gonna go ahead, oops, here's my scores right here. Let me actually hold that up for you. So it's gonna be two and three quarters, three and three quarters, so that's that first little spine right there. And then six and a half and nine and a quarter. Oh, this rattling is driving me nuts. I need to get, like, it's literally being held by mason jars. Okay, so there we have our simple booklet already. And this is going to be our little pocket. This is going to be our cover. So let me just go ahead and do these little score lines and just get them nice and creased. I really wanted to do this on double sided paper, but I'm like, I just know that it's not gonna be fair to those who don't have it. So, cause it's just so much easier. So that's gonna be just the front as you can see. And then this part right here is gonna be our pocket. And that's like super easy cause we're literally folding it. We're not making anything crazy. Why am I running into this? Sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear the rattling. Okay, so that right there is gonna be our pocket. And then let me just make sure this is folding okay. Because there's nothing worse than doing an album that doesn't close, right? Because of the way you uh, folded it. So it's going to fold like this. So it's going to like that and like that. So right now, if you want, you can go ahead and punch a little like half moon in your pocket. I'm using a pretty big punch today. I'm using a two inch punch just to give it that fun like depth in these pockets and stuff. So uh, for mine, I did add a little like background because I didn't like the white part of it. So you can also do that or you can leave it. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover these sheets up. 
So each little section is going to be basically, oops, I'm sorry, is going to be two and three quarters by three inches. So that's going to be all the sizes of these little, uh, sorry, not this, these little backgrounds. And you can trim it down a little bit if it, you know, bends funky. So this is going to be your pocket, so don't worry about that unless you want to fill the background. Did I even cut a background for that? I think I did. I might not have. Okay, so I guess I have to leave mine blank. But otherwise, use the same measurement. So let me figure out where this is going. So again, just make sure your scores are not covered by this. So when you're folding it, especially when you do the little creases, it always tends to get in the way. I didn't know whether I should upload like a fun big album, like a big bang or something easy. And I was like, you know what? I can just save the album for the rest of December because I do have a really cool album I want to show you guys how to do. And I just didn't know if I had the time to do it. So let me just make sure it's folding. Okay, it's folding okay. So now I'm gonna do this right here. And this is one by three, but it is a tiny bit less. So just, you know, shave it down just a little bit, just to make sure that you're not gonna have any problems when you close it. Okay, that looks okay. Again, I'm just gonna fold it just to make sure it's all closing, it looks good. And then the last page again is that two and three quarters by um, three. And this one, okay. I wasn't sure if I was gonna hang off a little bit. And then we'll do our pocket. Kind of bothers me that I didn't do the um, back pocket. Sorry, I know it's killing you guys watching me with my glue. It's also because I don't have my um, cap anymore. So it just dries out so much easier without that little metal cap because probably all the air is getting in there. What is going on in here? Yeah, I'm probably done shopping now. Now the kids are out of break and all that. Um, they're just, it was just crazy out there when I just went because I had to go get some glitter because again, I didn't want to wait for it. And I went to Michael's instead. I didn't go to Hobby Lobby. There's no way. Okay, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to have like a little background. I thought I had something, but I guess not. Okay, so I'm just going to seal mine again. If you want to cover that back, go ahead. Just make your little L and keep that top open. So you have that. Now let's do our pocket. So the pocket is going to be three and a quarter by four and a half. Okay. And we're going to lay our paper at the four and a half inch score line. So here's going to be our scores at the four and a half inch score line, half an inch, one inch, three and a half and four. So half an inch, one inch, three and a half and four. Now flip it to wherever you want the bottom to be to the three and a quarter mark and just score it at half an inch and one inch. Pretty easy, right? For that nice deep pocket. And then we're just gonna cut those four squares out. So these four, we do not need those anymore. We get a lot of squares cut out as we do this. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for all your sweet comments too, by the way. I love to read them and you guys are so supportive and it totally just makes me keep going and doing what I'm doing. And I just really love, um, I love responding and I love hearing what you guys have to say. So I get so excited because that's probably the most exciting part is just seeing how you guys like these tutorials. So, okay, again, you know, we're just gonna simply fold all these scores in because it's gonna be going like this. 
So you want it to look like that. So just fold it toward the inside again. And then the last one right here. So I made it pretty deep. And then yeah, you have all these wacky things going on, but I'm just gonna glue mine down like that. But before you do that, grab your punch. And again, this is a larger punch. And I made mine pretty deep because I just wanted that look to it, just to switch it up. And wow, I made that crooked, so I'm gonna try and fix it. And you guys know what happens when I try and do this. <laughs> okay, so the one thing I wasn't crazy about was, um, I totally forgot to do it in this, but that's okay. So if this little background kind of bothers you, you can, um, I don't know, you can put something down behind it so you don't see it. But with the treats in there, it's not, it doesn't really bother me. So hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Not to mention that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Oops, whoa, it's sliding everywhere. Okay, so you see how that like kind of is there. Again, if you wanna like take a little background and put it down there just to cover it up, then you can do that. So let me see. Okay, so that is that. Now we can just decorate it. And I don't have one of those cute little frames, so I'm just, I just found some leftover chipboard barely hanging on. And I'm just going to use that. So let's just pretend like this is a frame. And then I just popped two little holes right here to hold a tassel. And I did find some more tassels. I was like, oh, okay. So I was happy to find that. Just kind of eyeballing it. No specific place to put it. Just hoping my holes are even. And this was that crepe paper tassel from the Hey Santa, so I just snipped it. So now that's the end of Christmas, I can totally destroy what I was kind of saving. <laughs> so were you guys ready for the holiday? I have to say, we did go a little crazy for the little guy because I just feel bad with everything going on. I think everyone does, but... uh. I think I'm done with everything. I shipped off stuff to my family and all that kind of stuff. So good luck out there if you're not done. <laughs> it's like a zoo. Okay, so there's that. So you have that cute little look going on. And then please tell me I have some more going on here. Let's see, and I have stars. I just wanna use stars all day ever since I got those dies. So I'm just gonna put a little tag in there. And I think I'm gonna add Santa right here. And I'm getting low. I couldn't take this cap off. I need my husband to do it, so that's why I haven't refilled it. Okay, there's a little too many circles going on for me. I should have put that uh, boot on there. Okay, I think it's gonna be too late. Oh, here it is, I was looking for it. Let me see real quick. Oh no, it looks really bad. I, I don't need that. <laughs> the glue's right there. Okay, and then let me just put these in so you can see just how sweet and easy that is. And then when you close it, oh, I probably made this too short. Okay, good. Um, I want to add something in this pocket. All I have is circles left. What else do I have? So weird. The one thing Crate did was like add these mushrooms. I thought that was funny. No, you don't belong there for Christmas. Oh, hold on. I've got these little branches. Let me see if I have one more. Okay, that's weird. So I'm just gonna leave that off. And then, okay, so if you wanna do the front, you can just add some ribbon, a little strip of ribbon, and then pop something on the front. I'm just gonna leave this, because honestly, 
Okay, so if you're doing the ribbon, just add some double-sided tape and just put it along. I didn't cut my ribbon out, I forgot to do that. Or you can add twine and then just pop on your little thing. So let's see what will be cute here. Okay, I think the stocking, and I hope you guys think the stocking too. I feel like something belongs behind it because the other one was so much bigger. So this is the cute little album. And then, oh, there's some twine here, but I would have put it under. Let's just see how it looks. Wait, is it dry? All right, let me just see what it'll look like with twine. I definitely prefer ribbon on something like this. But I'm sure some of you are using twine, so you get to see what it can look like. And then, let me see. Okay, I'm just going to leave it off because I don't like the way it looks. All right, so anyway, so here is the old album, and this is the new cutie. So fun, quick, little stocking stuffer. I hope you guys like this one. I thought it was cute and just really quick and simple. All right, guys, thank you.